Hi, I'm Trish Brace Girdle from Shieldrick UK. Being here with Gemma today, helping her make sure that her saddles are all okay for her horses. I'm just going to show you what I'm looking at when I put it on. Yep. So you see, when, as soon as when you put the saddle on, the rider's going to sit in the middle of the horse and the girth is going to point to the back of the pecs. Okay, we don't want the girth pointing to his shoulder or to his bottom. We want it pointing to where it needs to be, to the back of the pecs. Okay, you can see it's nice and level and it's the right saddle for this horse. And so just a quick tip for grooms when they're tacking up, if they've got the wrong saddle, they'll know because the girth doesn't point in the right place. And to do it up, good quality girth, triple, triple elastic, means that you can't really over girth it, it stretches so much. But I can do it quite tight but the horse can still move the elastic because their ribcage is a lot stronger than ours. So we've got these lovely Velcro covers here, which stop, your, stop the rattling with your um, spurs and just make it look really neat. So you can see we've got the saddle, this is a nice flat seat cross country saddle. The children come up quite small, so Gemma's in, a, it's in an 18, but it's a bit like um, a 17 and a half in other saddles. And the reason is that these heads of these saddles, the trees that Luke makes, are so much bigger than a normal traditional tree. So we've got much more in front of the rider. The points are set way back here, because obviously everything we do is trying to get the horses to lift their shoulders. So with these saddles, we're going to free the shoulder up. We've got lovely soft panels through. They're shaped specifically for the type of work and the type of horse that we're doing, with fitting. And the panels fit all the way through. Gemma likes to have the girth over the top. You can't have it underneath, but it means that she doesn't know it's there, but it really wraps it around the horse. She, just, she doesn't want to know she's got a saddle on. She just wants to get on and do her job, which is to get her customers' horses around the big jumps and the big events. So we have the back block. You don't have to have it. Most people do, though, just in case. It's just you don't really notice it's there. And these you can have as big or as small as you like, but you don't really need blocks. If you've got a well-balanced saddle, you, wouldn't, you don't need them at all. So that's the saddle. And we've got here... This is quite a new thing that I've been putting on for them. This is for your airbags, so that you don't have to, because these are so wide across the top front here, the lanyards that come with the air jackets just are too small, so it's much easier to put it on here. So that's attached to the tree, nice and strong, and it's nice and tidy. Thanks for watching. I'm Trish Bracegirdle from Shieldrick UK. This is the Luke Shieldrick Model CFAT cross-country show jumping saddle. Hopes to see you soon when you want to try one.